Hi guys, welcome to the Board of Studies questions for SCPM. We all have finished every little bit of questions from the module. Uh, they are there on our YouTube channel. They are arranged in a playlist form. In case you all want, you all can watch it. And slightly better for you, you watch those lectures before you start to be coming over here. But then, Board of Studies question, I guess, will be more closer to whatever ICA will be asking in exams. Hence, we are trying to be doing these questions also. Reminder, in case you'll require any help, you can always approach us on our Telegram ID that goes by the name of AJ Next. And in case you wish to be enrolling for a complete course, then the link is there in the description below. One small thing, all our lectures for CA Inter will slowly be available on our YouTube channel, completely free, including soft copy, including test, every possible thing. So therefore, no student in India is going to be paying for costing lectures of CA Inter. Do tell it to your friends or neighbors or relatives, whomsoever are going to be there in future for CA Inter. They'll be appearing right on our YouTube channel. Every Saturday, Sunday, we are going to be putting two lectures. First, all the lectures in Hindi English and then all the lectures completely in English. So therefore, no need for you all to be enrolling or anything. All the lectures will be available. You can watch them for infinite amount of time. Okay, so let's do the things now. This is the chapter introduction to SCM. And the question for today is using five, using Porter's five forces model, which of the following will be an evidence of high supplier power? Okay, first buyers are aware of the quality of the products of suppliers and suppliers competitors. Buyers are aware of the quality of the products of supplier and supplier competitors. So therefore, if buyer is aware of the supplier and the competitors, he will try to bargain hard with the supplier. I'll come back to this further. Ability to reach out to the final customers is high. So your supplier, instead of supplying to you, suppose you are a retailer in middle. Your supplier is a wholesaler. Instead of supplying to you, he has the power to directly reach the final customer. Obviously, his bargaining, his bargaining power will be stronger. He'll be in a stronger position. Cost of switching the suppliers is high for the buyer. Cost of switching suppliers is high for the buyer. Example, I'll tell you. You purchased a SIM card or your telecom network okay, from Bharti. And suppose Indian government comes out with the rule. In case you have to port out, say to Jio, you will have to pay, say, 10,000 rupees automatically switching will become very difficult. At that time, Bharti and Jio will take great advantage of that because you cannot be switching them. Further, products in the industry are homogeneous in nature and with not much amount of differentiation. Now, if products are not much different, like, you know, you can purchase from this supplier or that supplier, blah, 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 blah. At that time, like, you know, it hardly matters. How will supply try to have any force on you? Because you can buy from anywhere. Okay. I've discussed few of the things, but for those people who don't know what is Porter's five forces model, it was a model basically made by Michael Porter. And he told that the profitability and the competition in the industry depends upon these five factors. These five factors are threat of new entrants, bargaining power of buyers, threat of substitutes, rivalry among the comp uh, existing competitors. And lastly, this question is all about bargaining power of suppliers. Bargaining power of suppliers, it's a very simple thing. If supplier will have more bargaining power, he will supply you at a higher rate. If he will supply you the raw materials at a higher rate, your profit will be go uh, going down. Vice versa. If he does not have much amount of bargaining power, then in that case, he will supply you at a lesser rate. So your cost will be going down, your profitability will be going up. So this question was all about that. So you had to be saying in this that... Uh, using five forces model, which is evidence of high supplier power. So where bargaining power of suppliers will be higher in the four cases. I've discussed all, but then let's bring out the four options, please. So four options in this case, one and two, okay. One and three, okay. Two and four, fine. And lastly, two and three. Now let's examine them one by one. Almost I'm going to be explaining the same thing, but with some words also. So buyers are aware of the quality of the products of supplier and supplier competitors. It is simple that if I am aware of many suppliers and their competitors, I will bargain with every supplier. I'll be able to get a better rate. So therefore, at that time, bargaining power of supplier will be less. Mine will be higher. Okay, that's what I've written. So therefore, this will not increase the bargaining power of the supplier. This will increase the bargaining power of the buyer. Okay, not supplier. So 
what i have written when buyers have information about the quality difference between the supplier and the products of the supplier's competitors it will add to the buyer's negotiating power hence it will not add to the supplier's bargaining power okay second one ability to reach out to the final customers is high forward integration now if supplier can directly bypass us and reach to the consumer okay then he will have very high bargaining power because if you will try to negotiate with him he will say i will not sell to you only i will rather sell to the final customer and buy to me that's what i have written so therefore at that time bargaining power of supplier will be really very strong ability to reach out to the final customers that is called as forward integration when the suppliers have ability to circumvent the buyer say the retailer and reach out to the final customers they have more bargaining power due to forward integration best example will be a company like apple now apple in beginning was always dependent upon the brick and a mortar stores that is like you know your normal shops whereby you go and buy the apple phone but you all know now that the largest sales of apple actually happens from where it happens from apple's own website so therefore now they have bypassed these particular people so therefore now these people like say reliance or uh, say chroma they don't have much bargaining power when it comes to apple because apple knows that it can sell directly also to the final consumers okay so therefore here bargaining power of apple that is the supplier of chroma will be very high okay third one cost of switching is high for the buyer of course at that time the bargaining power of supplier will become very high when a cost of switching is high for the buyer there would be tendency to stick to the same supplier hence supplier gets more power example now the person who used to be printing my books okay now he has soft copy of all my books here now and he is used to my style i tell him today i want the books by tomorrow he will do it i don't know whether any other supplier will do those things for me so therefore like you know cost of me switching to another supplier becomes very high at that time so therefore my supplier knows that he will usually be charging me higher because he knows that i will not switch no further products in the industry are homogeneous in nature and with not much amount of differentiation okay now if the products in the industry are homogeneous then in fact nobody will have a high bargaining power okay so therefore product differentiation adds to the supplier's power hence there will be homogeneity of the product supplier power will be lesser because whether i purchase from this supplier or this supplier in any case the goods are homogeneous only hence it will not add to the bargaining power of the supplier that's it now so therefore one sec out of all second and third will add to the bargaining power so answer should be 2 and 3 so answer should be point number 4 over here yeah that's the correct answer let me also just remind you that all the mcqs of ca final module of scpm are available on this playlist you will can scan and watch those lectures before actually you watch the lectures from board of studies you will have concepts over there you will have the summaries over there of each and everything of like you know we discuss the mcq but then we discuss the concepts uh, behind it we discuss the summaries uh, behind it before we try to reveal the final answer i'll see you all next time take care bye